Hello and welcome. This is Angie with TheCountryChicCottage.net. So today's video is actually sponsored by CSS Industries. So they make things like off-ray ribbon and a wide variety of buttons. So these are called Button Collectors Button Jar and that's what we're going to use today. So they actually come in jars and have a wide assortment of buttons in them. So we're going to use the natural version today, but there's a wide variety of colors. So you can get these jars in just about every color. I picked these up at Walmart, but you can also find them at Joann's stores. And then you can find a wide variety of off-way ribbon at your local craft store or Walmart. And I'm going to use this brown burlap version. So what are we going to make? We are going to make this Christmas wall hanging with joy spelled out in buttons, a cute burlap bow, and some greenery. So let's get started making this project. For this project, you'll need an embroidery hoop. The word joy printed on regular copy paper. I'll have a download for this on thecountrysheetcottage.net. And you can find a link for that in the description for this video. You'll need some buttons. So you can find these jars of buttons at Walmart as well as Joann's stores. And we're using the natural colored buttons for our project, but they're available in a wide variety of colors. And then we'll use some off-ray ribbon. We're using a brown burlap type ribbon. Well, you'll need one pipe cleaner, some buffalo plaid fabric, some tracing paper, as well as some greenery. Let's start by making our bow. So you want to start with one small loop, and we'll just hold our finger there. And then we'll need about four of the same size loops. Now these loops will determine how large your bow is. So make them as small or as big as you would like them to be. And make them all approximately the same size. I made five loops and then you'll want one long loop so we're just going to use the rest of the roll of ribbon and loop it all the way back to the beginning. Then we're going to use our pipe cleaner. We're going to go through this top loop, around through the back, securing all the loops together. You just want to pull everything really, really tight and twist the pipe cleaner several times. Then once that's complete, you can cut off any excess with scissors from the back. And then you can fluff and arrange the bow as you would like it on the front. And just cut this loop in half. And we have a bow ready for the top of our project. So let's make the rest of the project. Next we'll start with this embroidery hoop. And just take the two pieces apart. We'll add in our fabric. Add the top back to it. You want this to be really tight. So you can pull on the fabric if you need to. Then we can just flip it over and trim away the excess. So you can do this with scissors, but what I like to do is just use a craft knife and just run that craft knife really close to the hoop itself, trimming away all the excess fabric. And once that's complete, you'll need to transfer the word joy to the fabric itself. So you'll want to put something under the fabric first of all, so that you have something to write on. And then we'll need tracing paper. So this is white tracing paper. They also make black. You probably used it, you know, when you were in grade school or something like that. 
and you can buy it at basically any craft and hobby store. We're gonna cut a piece larger than our design. We're gonna put this piece face down on the fabric, so the shiny side down, and then put our word and locate it wherever we want it. And then you can just use any pen and start tracing around your letters. And what's gonna happen is that that is gonna transfer as a white line to the fabric. Then once you finish tracing, you should have the word joy spelled on your, out on your fabric in white lines. And now it's time to work with that jar of buttons. So in your jar, you'll have assorted buttons of different sizes and shapes. And we're going to use those to fill in our lettering. So this is random, so you don't have to lay out anything. But if some of the buttons are way too big, so this would go, be way too big for my design, then I would just set that aside and use the smaller ones to fill it in. So we're just going to use a hot glue gun and start filling our buttons in on the joy. So now our buttons are complete and all on our piece. So now we need to add some greenery and the bow at the top. So how much greenery is completely dependent upon you. So I just bought a couple sprigs of greenery. And I think both of them would be a little too much. So I'm gonna cut a few pieces off of here. And add a few of those. I think probably two per side will be plenty. But this part is completely up to you, so you can add as much or as little as you would like. And then we'll also need to add our bow to the top. So what I'm going to do is hot glue this greenery into place first. Then we'll just cut this pipe cleaner off our bow, the excess, and hot glue the bow right in the center. You will probably need to fluff the bow and arrange it once you get it on your wreath. And then you'll also want to cut these tails to the, whatever size you want them to be. So I can cut them short or you can leave them long and sort of hot glue them around the edges of your wreath, whatever way you would like. So I cut my ends off to the about approximately the same length, put a V in each one, and then I put a dot of hot glue way up under my greenery to hold them into place. So I'm going to leave them hanging long like this. Again, you can cut them short if you would like or do them however you would like. Now our Christmas wall hanging is complete. So this craft idea is actually super simple, easy to make. If you want the printable for the joy, then be sure to head to the countrysheetcottage.net. I will drop a link for that printable below so you can head there and download that. And then you can print that out, use that as your guide to put your joy across the front and make your own Christmas wall hanging for your home today. 
So if you like this video, love to this craft, be sure to give us a thumbs up. You might want to head on over to our YouTube channel and subscribe. So you don't want to miss any of the crafts. We have two videos a week. You don't want to miss any of those. If you have any questions about anything we've done today, any of the process to make the project, any of the products we've used, please feel free to ask those in the comment section below. We would also love to hear any comments you have about the craft itself because we love to hear from you. So thank y'all so much for joining me today and I'll see you next week with another fun craft idea. Thanks y'all. Bye-bye.